Hi, I'm Scott Paul, President of the Alliance for American Manufacturing, and on behalf of our team at AAM, we wanted to wish you a happy uh, Independence Day. Uh, and we had a brief Independence Day message for you as well. Uh, for lots of people, Independence Day is about going to the beach or having a picnic or watching a parade uh, and flying a flag. Uh, for many Americans, uh, Independence Day is a time when we look back on the founding of our country and patriotism. Uh, and something occurred to me this week as we were looking uh, through various news clips. Uh, USA Today had a list of the 25 most patriotic brands in America today as identified by consumers. Uh, and it's worth looking at a couple of entries from that list. Jeep was at the top of the list. And uh, Jeep prides itself in having a patriotic image. Obviously, Jeep's helped us win World War II. Uh, ironically, Jeep was called out a couple years ago because the Jeep Patriot was, in fact, not made in the United States. It was made in Mexico. And Jeep does not have any of the top uh, five uh, made in America vehicles uh, at this point. Hershey's was number two on the list, and no one can argue about how great Hershey's chocolate is. Uh, most of it is made in the United States, but Hershey's has outsourced some production to Mexico and other countries. Coca-Cola is number three, no argument from me there. Levi Strauss is number four, it was America's original gene maker. However, Levi Strauss moved virtually all of its production overseas uh, more than 10 years ago. And today, you can only find about three different kinds of Levi jeans that are produced in the United States. They're all uh, sustainably produced at the higher end, made in North Carolina. I'm wearing a pair today, uh, but they're exceptionally hard to find. Uh, Ralph Lauren is in the list at number nine. Ralph Lauren was called out for outsourcing the Olympic uniforms to Asia uh, and, and had, to, had to backtrack from that. Uh, New Balance is on the list uh, at number 12. I'm proud to say that I own a dozen pair of Made in America New Balance. It is the last uh, uh, footwear maker that produces shoes. They're made proudly in Maine. Harley Davidson's at number 13. Those are proudly made by steel workers uh, all over the country. Um, Ford is at number 16, and in fact, Ford uh, deserves a patriotic reputation because its F-150 pickup truck is the most American pickup truck, according to a survey from American University. Louisville Sluggers, number 17, uh, those bats are made in Louisville by uh, proud union members of the Steelworkers. Uh, General Electric is at number 19. and. It's odd because General Electric has outsourced virtually more jobs than any other company in the United States over the last decade and a half. Uh, Walmart is in at number 22. And there again, uh, there, there's no company that imports more from China than Walmart does today. Walmart built its reputation uh, on a patriotic uh, branding, uh, but there's a lot of question about whether it means it or not. Two companies that didn't make the list that Bear mentioning are Apple and Google. They've been busy trying to persuade consumers that they are also patriotic uh, companies. Apple has ads uh, in the Washington Post today, in fact they've had them all week, uh, saying that apples are designed in California, uh, which, is, which should be important consumers. Uh, Google and Motorola came back uh, today uh, with an ad on the back page of the Washington Post that says not only is, is the, the new Moto X uh, Google Motorola smartphone uh, designed in the United States, but it's going to be uh, engineered and manufactured in the United States, in fact in Texas uh, beginning this year, so smartphone consumers will actually have a Made in USA option. Uh, and I wanted to close with this. Uh, about a week and a half ago, Mia Farrow was on Twitter asking where she could find uh, an American-made flag because she was having a hard time finding one for, for Flag Day. Uh, our blog was able to help her out, uh, but I wanted to let all of you know that uh, Valley Forge and other flag makers do make flags that are proudly made uh, in the United States. Uh, and if you are flying a flag uh, for Independence Day, if you are wearing a patriotic shirt, just make sure uh, that it's made in America. And, and together, we'll be able to have a sustainable economy and many more years of independence.